Good day to you. My name is Mary Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture, the best cultural show in English in Poland. And we have a very special guest here with us in the studio, a Marcel Wojnak in person. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me once again. Well, you are a uh, biographer, a writer, and also a great source of knowledge about Leopold Thurman because you wrote three books about him. And uh, in the previous episode, we talked a little bit about the movie Philip and also about the book Philip, which uh, currently uh, is in the, uh, in the movie theaters in Poland. Uh, and we can, we, it's a new production and uh, I would say a first modern uh, of production or a movie based on the uh, on the book of Leopold Thurman because it was previously uh, a uh, another movie uh, also a great one but let's say old and this is a new approach uh, to the, his uh, his books and his uh, to to adapt them in a film version and the first one successful. Uh, talking about this, we talked also about the fact that it is a remarkable story and, and in a different way of looking in the World War II because uh, he as a, a waiter in Frankfurt am Main, uh, being Polish, being actually Polish Jewish and uh, serving and working in a hotel, asking how we are asking you right now, how did he manage to not being recognized? And like I mentioned before, there were many strategies strategies to survive during the war. One of this was one of one of the strategy strat, strategies was to change your citizenship or change your personality. There was a huge market of fake documents during the war. Usually, students of fine arts were preparing this kind of documents, and so yeah, like I said, he was a student in in Paris uh, before the war, so he had a chance to upgrade his language skills and so when the war started he was actually in Lithuania in Vilnius I mean he moved to, to Lithuania Vilnius and in 1941 when the German Soviet war started he was in a kind of like a clinch bef be between many like war zones uh, and he had no actually other option to survive like just to pretend that he's someone else because he was a Jew at this time at that time his family was in Warsaw ghetto so he decided to get friend ID and that's actually what is written in the book that Philip the the main character is changing his personality to Philip and that changing his nationality that he's French and he decides to to go to Germany because who would you know uh, think that a Jew would go to like you know to the heart of the correct the heart of <laughs> the, the system, war like, the heart uh, of the war exactly, exactly to the to the cage right but he did that and because of his uh, language skills because of his character and his charisma like I said these these people the generation from uh, pre-war era were so strong in so many different uh, angles. So he was tough enough to work in that hotel, like you mentioned, with people from Romania, Czech Republic, from Netherlands, and he was just one of them. It, uh, so th and that's one of the reasons why this movie is so international. The topic of this movie touches so many different um, topics, uh, like one of the characters is, is from Italy, and he's working for Germans as a forced laborer, right? And uh, other. So this is also eventually a different way of uh, of us Poles uh, talking about the war because we usually uh, do it in a very pathetic way. I mean, <laughs> with the pattern, yeah. heroic. Let's say uh, with uh, uh, adding the fact that uh, we usually just want to see the heroes dying during the a uh, war surprising, and this is a this is totally a different approach of uh, of sort of. Fun in one way, but it's also the horror of uh, where where does it lead you? Uh, what is at stake? Because now we know the war is over, but uh, Philip or Leopold Thurman, who was working in this hotel, didn't have this knowledge. He didn't couldn't possibly know that. Okay, this time of uh, German domination will be over, and there will be a Poland back again. That's the one of the reasons uh, and mistakes we can. We can do uh, depends on our angle. Do we look at the history diachronic or synchronic? So at that moment he couldn't know what would happen. We had a we have a 
great example, it's a, not an inappropriate word for that, uh, how the war looks like. And it's, it's not only about uh, these bad things happening, of course they are the main thing, the main uh, plot, but uh, on the other hand we can see people on Instagram, on TikTok, and we can like see in like voyeur way how they try to struggle to to still you know keep keep alive with their like culture with their spirit so i think Thirman was always like going in some transgressive different way than other writers other people other other artists and that's why i think he decided when he was about his 40s to to to, to write this book and to show that the, you can look at the world from the like different angle and that's the the main i think power from this story which is rich colorful beautiful and how do you enjoy also as uh, the cinematography of this of this film uh, it's uh well it, it's after all a, a very rich production with a lot of costumes taking you back in history uh, uh, with uh, also some spicy moments, which I know, uh, which was an outburst uh, at the, uh, sc all the school trips who, uh, and the school teachers who wanted to show the classic to their pupils and then ended up with the classic in a full version. I, I, I made a joke once that uh, this version they should sh they will show to the, the pupils, the students will be like 30 minutes long <laughs> when they skip <laughs> all the spicy parts, right? <laughs> But uh, yeah, I did enjoy the scenography, especially that one of the locations of my, was my city, Torun, like I mentioned. And that's really a masterpiece that they like shoot one sequence, which is like 10 seconds long in six different localizations. In one sequence, sequence you have the city of Torun, city of Wrocław, a palace in, in some city in Boszkov. And then there is cinema, uh, uh, some special place built in Warsaw. So like one street is in Torun and after the, they, they just, you know, move they, after the corner and they are in, war, in, in Wroclaw in, this, in the same moment. So that's in, in incredible how they did that. And that's one of the reasons I really enjoyed that movie. Well, the magic of the cinematography and the movies well, also sounds beautiful and so amazing. Uh, would you actually like to see any other uh, movie of Turman's books. Uh, ah, I would love to watch all of his adaptations, but he wasn't like lucky enough to, to get these adaptations done. And we'll talk more yeah. about it in the next episode. And of course, to all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily, I would strongly encourage you to, of course, watch the movie and read the book and make your own decisions. Do you like it? And what is your vision of the story? Thank you very much for watching our show.